Welcome to Bears Nexel. Today is March 8th, Friday, and this is a quick hit on the precious metals. Starting off with SLV. Haven't looked at this one in a while, it just was not looking interesting to me. And um, yeah, it's kind of interesting today. Not uh, overly spectacular, but uh, anyways, we have this descending channel that we had been looking at in previous videos. We had the eyeball trend lines here and here that worked really nice in the past and we have what well we had a nice day on silver a nice day um, all that it was really doing today is it came down if I cut off this uh, tail here it came down to the floor and bounced off of it it's all all that happened Nothing spectacular, it's just going sideways. Um, so, is this going to go up? Is this going to go down? Well, you can make a case for either way. I'm actually of the down persuasion. Okay, so, up or down. And, uh, let's see, I'm of the persuasion at the moment for down. And the reason for that, besides uh, just uh, kissing the floor, is a couple of things. On one hand, you could look at this and say, oh, it's going to go up. All of the secondaries are going up. The, uh, getting a uh, bullish cross on the MACD, MACD histograms going up, RSI is going up, CCI is going up, there's nothing in the, uh, there's no bottoming area, although that isn't a bullish thing. And uh, so all these are going up. So you'd say, oh, this thing's going to go up. You know, if it were to go up, uh, I would think it would be between the 28.5 and the 29 area. Um, eyeball trend line, which is where our uptick was that failed way back here. So, yeah, maybe it could go up here and do that. Coincides with the long-term moving average bar, and which would be first major resistance. So, could make a case for that. But, can also make a case for... This is a secondary reset. And we have everything going up because it's just doing a reset before it finishes its move out on the bottom. Uh, you'll notice the stochastics here are going up very, very fast. And what has that bought the price? Nothing. So it expended a lot of energy for nothing. Um, that's just a, a big clue to me. And if we look at the internal structure of volume, what do we see? Well, we did get a green today. We got the volume weighted MACD, turn green. We do have the accumulation distribution, which is red, trying to go up some here. It's only half-heartedly doing it. Same thing with the on-balance volume. It has made a uh, valiant attempt, and it is still pretty weak, trying to get back up there. Um, now, if these were to change, get a green on non-balance volume, get a green on accumulation distribution, that obviously will cause the volume price trend to switch, it will cause the dual volume flow to switch, and you'll have five greens, in which case it would be a sustainable, uh, really nice rally. But if this is just uh, getting back close to the trigger line and then falling away, you'll have this floor broken out in no time, in which case 27 is uh, very easily doable. Going on to GLD. Let's see if there's any difference between uh, between these things. GLD. And what do we have today? Well, we've worked off most of this bottom area and have uh, nothing to show for it. If we cut off the tail here from this low, it's exactly where it went to and bounced today, which means that it's just testing the floor. Normally you knock a few times and then the door opens. So, warning sign to me. It certainly looks like a secondary reset just like silver, but CCI is already starting to turn down once again. Um, and is there any difference in volume compared to silver? Well, everything's a little bit lower already, but uh, beyond that, nope, it looks 
it looks pretty uh, identical, or at least it's uh, similar. So, <clears throat> be waiting to see if any of the majors turn, in which case then I will believe that it should bounce. But until that time, nope. GDX, the miners. Alright. Well, you'll notice right off the bat that there is something very different here. Silver and gold, floors right here. They're retesting the floor. GDX already made a lower low, which needs to be retested. And uh, we have the exact same structure here, at least very similar to gold and silver. And you have that nice spike on the stochastics. And it really hasn't produced anything. We haven't even got back to what was the floor on gold and silver. Matter of fact, you got to it, and that's exactly where it keeps getting turned away. So we have a nice resistance right here at this level that uh, so far has not held, in which case it's just a matter of time before this counterpunch, which is all that it is, runs out of steam and it retries on the downside, which in that case you'll have uh, indicators ripe for further movement down. So. Do I trust this is just going to go off to the moon at this moment? Uh, the answer is no, until it can prove itself. And to see about proving itself, internal structure volume, accumulation distribution, it's not even pointing up, on balance volume, eh, doesn't look as strong as silver or golds. Um, you are getting one, two, uh, greens out of the volume weighted MACD, dual volume flow. If those two cannot contribute to a meaningful bounce and possibly turn into a three with the vo volume price trend, then uh, yes, it should be going back down to the floor and uh, most likely busting it out. So do I trust metals at this point? No. There is potential, but does it look like a uh, really solid um, you know, low risk move up. Uh, no, it does not. As always, all investing decisions are your own. This chart and video for entertainment, educational, and consumption of time purposes only. Thank you.